Okay, Cadence is hungry, so we are gonna make her peanut butter banana and mango sandwiches. And first, I'm going to sharpen my mango cutting knife here. Uh, I like these very thin knives. This is a super cheap one. I used to have a really nice moray knife that I just loved it. It was a little bit longer than this one. Filleting knife, very thin. And guess what? <laughs> the tip broke off. And they discontinued the knife. I can't find it anywhere. So I found this for like 10 bucks on Amazon. It does the job, but... It's uh, not as a carbon steel, so it doesn't hold the blade very long. So I'm just kind of just getting this cleaned up a little bit. Okay, I'll move this away. I wrap it up with my paper towel. Goes in this drawer. All right, and I'm gonna put a little water on a towel. And get off. The stone see right there a little bit of dirt from the stone all right so first things first this is our bread we're gonna start toasting the bread to give it a, so it holds the peanut butter a little bit better when it's warm right when it comes out of the toaster it melts a little bit uh, so here we go we've got our organic this is really great bread I love this a lot so no GMOs this is from Costco organic who makes this uh, Apple Valley. Costs more, but it's worth it. Really tastes good. So that's toasting. I have it on probably three minutes. And while that's toasting, we're going to get our bananas and cut them. So I cut them about the width of the bread. Okay? And I cut the end off. Um, and I'll score it. I'm not gonna, actually, I'm not going to peel these. I'm going to cut them with the peels on. And what I'm looking for are straight edges. So I'll just hold the banana down and I'll cut the curve off. See? And the next cut will be a piece that we can use for a piece of bread right there. And you don't want them too thick. I'd say a little bit over an eighth of an inch, almost a quarter of an inch. And so we we'll probably have three good slices in there that we can use. Now, this knife is so thin, it makes this really easy. So this goes right through it. So I'm gonna cut this curve off here. Let's see, try to do it so the camera can see it. And now I've got a straight shot. Boom. 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 Okay. So that's enough for one sandwich. I usually a, san a banana will do a sandwich, right? And put that so it goes out in the garden later. All right, so I've got some peanut butter. This peanut butter is probably not the best thing for you. I know it has hydrogenated vegetable oil, but we eat healthy otherwise, so it's probably not going to get us. Let's do our mango. Now, there's a couple approaches on the mango. Um, I'm looking for the slices in here on the side of the seed. If you can see the seed is going through here. Sometimes I just peel it like an apple all the way through. I could do that here on this one. I think I will. Um, so I'm just going to take my mango and I'm going to get all the peel off really quickly here while our toast is still going. Um, and let's see if we can. There's a toast, so we'll probably have about another minute before that get, that toast gets too cold from the way I want it. Um, uh, come on, mango. You gotta be careful that you don't drop these things. It takes a little bit of practice. Um, I do this the way a lot of people like to peel apples. You know, it's not probably the safest way to hold a knife, but you get you get quite a bit of control if you're pulling it toward. If see, I'm pulling it towards my thumb. Um, I've used a potato peeler. <laughs> it's a little bit harder for me um, to do these. That works great. 
you just kind of get the feel for it after a while. You know, a little practice. We eat mangoes every day here. We're lucky enough that we can get them from our Costco here in California. There's the mango peel. That goes into the garden. Now, the first slice, if we look here, is not going to quite be big enough. But here's the slice that we're looking for for our sandwich. One, should be able to get two for each side of the seed. See, there's the seed, you can feel it. So I just, so I'll put that over here out of our way. Now we've got everything that we need, except unsticky hands, to make our sandwich. Now, I sometimes make you know, the peanut butter and honey, the peanut butter and maple syrup, sandwiches, but this is a little bit more natural, except for the peanut butter. So, I'm going to grab some of our peanut butter. I do both sides of the bread. I like even distribution. So they call me Even Steven. Okay. Okay, and so are these sandwiches ever good? They're good. They are? Yeah. Okay. Now, the peanut butter actually helps hold your sandwich together. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to melt a little bit because of the temperature of the bread. It's uh, going into the bread, but the gooiness of it will hold everything together. Now we're going to take our bananas and get our, our clean, flat cuts of banana. And you can go any way you want. <clears throat> and let's get another one. This one will actually work. He's just big enough. See? And you gotta get a little bit creative. Now look at that. Perfect, right? I'm gonna do the same thing on this side if I was making another sandwich. Um, I would do all the bananas first and then I would have tops that I would put on. But this is gonna be one sandwich for demonstration purposes. There's our perfect mango slice. But you're gonna have mangoes like this would be, if we were making two sandwiches, I would cut this so that it would fit on there. The key is you don't want your sandwich falling apart as the kids are eating it. The peanut butter will hold the, the banana and the mango. So there we go. The toasting keeps you from smashing the bread. That's about as toasted as you want it. Actually a little less would have been perfect if you see here. Now I'm going to hold the sandwich pressing down on the strongest parts of the sandwich here, the edges. Okay, with my hand I'm cupping it kind of. And the knife is going to go in between, and I'm going to cut it in half cleanly. As I push down, very sharp knife is the key. Now, voila! Is that is that a good sandwich case? Do you like those? Okay, here. So we got our plate here, and I usually give them a half, and if they're still hungry, I give them more. Those taste so yummy. There you go. You're welcome. And I'll do watermelon here as soon as I clean the cutting board off. How the kids like the watermelon cut.